The narrator is in the office with the movie screen. An implant about the size of a matchstick is held between a thumb and finger to show flexibility. Another product is an implant that is placed under the skin. The implant is a small flexible rod that cannot be seen once inserted, though some people may be able to feel it under their skin. The medicines to prevent HIV are slowly released over 12 months. The implant would have to be removed by a healthcare provider after the 12 months are up, or it could be taken out early if desired. To continue to have protection against HIV, a new implant would need to be inserted every 12 months. The scene changes to a person in a medical office. A doctor is placing an injection in the person's arm. Before getting an implant, medication would be injected to numb the skin. An implant is shown being inserted under the skin on the inside of the upper arm, halfway between the elbow and armpit. Then a trained healthcare provider would place the implant just under the skin of the upper arm on your non-dominant side. The left arm if you are right-handed, the right arm if you are left-handed. An applicator like the one shown is used to place the implant. A plastic applicator about eight inches long is shown. It has a thick needle at the bottom that holds the implant. Most people just feel a little pinch or stinging when they get the numbing shot. After that, the implant cannot be felt when being inserted. After the pain medication has worn off, the arm may ache a little where the implant was inserted, but it goes away quickly. The most frequently reported side effects were reactions at the site of the implant that lasted a few days. About two in three people reported bruising, swelling, itching, tenderness, and pain at the location where the implant was inserted. Three people are shown with two highlighted. About one in six people reported headaches. Six people are shown with one highlighted. A sentence appears. It reads, Choices for Prevention.